Hey guys, Twilight Masquerade is upon us. I hope you guys are excited for this set as much as I am. I'm gonna show you guys the top 10 cards in this set that you need to get right now. You're gonna be excited about these cards. It's actually a game-changing set, I'm not gonna lie, guys. So let's jump right in. Number 10 here with Monkey Dory. Absolutely impressive Gardevoir EX support here. It let's you move three damage counters from your own Pokemon to the opponent's Pokemon any way you like. Absolutely impressive. So you're not only damaging the opponent with your own attacks, you're also leaving some damage on the opponent with your own abilities. Monkey Dory is also very low value. So even if the opponent wants to get rid of it, it's not something that the opponent really wants gains value from uh, removing from the field. So it's extremely effective. Also, you have so many da damage counters on you that healing your own Pokemon is going to prove to be very strong. It's absolutely amazing card. I'm actually impressed with Monkey Dory. This is a good start for this set. Number 10 is actually very impressive. Let's move on guys to another strong uh, card here. It's gonna be an A spec. This is number nine, Legacy Energy. This deck is gonna, uh, this card is gonna work with another deck very well, but it's gonna work amazingly. Uh, we had another A spec that was a special energy. It didn't work out as much as good as this, but this card is extremely effective. It makes your own Pokemon uh, one price less, so their value in uh, losing them is much less. And also they give out colorless energy. So Lugia with Archaeops can find this card and use it and utilize it. It's absolutely impressive to see this. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a little bit scary to see this in Lugia because Lugia has Mencino now. Uh, that is a one prizer. Also his own Lugia that's gonna be powered up is gonna be a one prizer as well because he's gonna have that legacy energy on it. It's impressive. It's very, very impressive guys. But uh, yeah, interested in your opinions. You tell me what do you think about this card. I think we're going to see this a lot in Lugia. But let's move on to number 8. We have Ogre, Ogre Pawn EX. Uh, Ogre Pawn EX is a very impressive card. It's very effective against the Charizard, guys. It's hitting for weakness. It's, it also gives its own uh, acceleration and draw power to itself. So it accelerates one energy to itself and then it also draws it. Which is very impressive. Draws uh, cards from it. Uh, it, its attack is gonna take some time to build up, but like I said, it's very effective against the Charizard And this is probably the best Ogre Pawn or, or Mask group that we're gonna see here So really interested in your opinions guys. I think number 8 is perfect for it It's gonna be strong against Charizard DX, but besides that we're not gonna see a lot of play And it's also very weak at 210 moving on guys Tatsuguri in the Buddy Poffin meta. This is a very impressive card it's an ability, it's basically a Poke Gear ability in a Pokemon, allowing you to look at the top six cards for a supporter and choosing one and playing it or putting it in your hand and then putting the rest in the, in the deck. Absolutely impressive, guys. Any deck that's going to be using Body Poffin is going to be able to utilize Tatsuguri to a really big level. Maybe we're going to see a lot more of this in Giratina decks as well because they do need those supporters very, very heavily. But uh, honestly, Tatsuguri just changed the game. Uh, now, what's happening is you have option, you have ways to kill Tatsuguri. You have ways to kill these Body Poffin uh, Pokemon with Monkey Dory, like we showed you earlier. A couple of turns of Monkey Dory. I'll also show you another card, Dragapult, that can kill that Tatsuguri. But uh, it, it's 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 still going to be worth it to play the Tatsuguri, in my opinion. It's just so effective, saving you. And allowing you to play the game it's a, it's a game changing card for sure number six guys is going to be unfair stand one of the best cards for control right now it's actually unfair that they played this gave the support to control it's going to be very scary to see this in control decks you just ditch your whole hand and draw two while your opponent draws five the problem with this is if you don't have anything set up on the on the board and uh, to to draw again like be barrels you are basically not going to be able to play the game for the next two to three turns also, Eerie is very effective with this card, so you can use Eerie, Unfair Stamp, and then potentially Luxray out the final card, EX, and I'll show you guys what Luxray I'm talking about, but this is absolutely impressive. It's going to be a very, very strong uh, card, and it's going to be very effective in control. We're going to see this all the time, Unfair Stamp. It's going to be, a, it's a game-changing card, so I want you guys to be careful with this. Now, you can't save yourself from uh, this with Ionos and supporters but that's the only way to save yourself from this is your supporters or your pokemon so tatsuguri and biberal are going to be very very necessary in the next set guys but yeah like i said unfair stamp is absolutely strong if you can control the opponent's board and the drawing pokemon and play this out and then discard his last card with eerie or uh, or the luxury 
EX and you are happy the opponents won't be able to play the game anymore control decks are actually becoming extremely strong all right guys jumping into number five we got Luxray EX guys absolutely impressive Pokemon 310 HP it's insanely huge it does take you some time to get there at stage two but its attacks absolutely impressive only two energy for both attacks the second attack is absolutely impressive with Meridon EX and other electrical Pokemon but that first attack is absolutely insane in control -y decks it makes uh, the control decks just uh, so much more effective now your opponent reveals their hand you discard any card you want from there very easily uh, usable piercing gaze with one of those double uh, turbo energies and 120 damage and a discard of a card this is huge against the opponent now it is very hard to pull off this luxury it does it is a stage two but i'm sure we're gonna see a lot of new combinations with this luxury and it's gonna be a big uh, effective card in control e decks but guys let's move on to number four we have another amazing impressive pokemon that comes out of this set greninja ex greninja is so strong guys this greninja kind of does what the radiant greninja does but a little bit better uh he is first of all this actual card right now this one that you're looking at is one of the most valuable cards in the set right now it's just such a beautiful card and artwork wise uh, this card is absolutely impressive But not only is it the most expensive card I think we we're gonna see this winning tournaments very soon or, or at least being played in tournaments Competitively it's shinobi blade attack is absolutely impressive You do 170 damage and then you go and look for your uh, deck for any card you want Now the problem is you can't use that card because you just attacked But uh, but if it's a supporter if it's anything that can set you up for next turn Then you're pretty much golden here guys we're gonna see a lot of impressive decks coming out of this Greninja combo. I'm not sure exactly how you're gonna utilize this best. I don't know if you can actually shove this in a CPOW deck. I'm not sure about that, but I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of this Greninja. It's just so cool looking and its abilities are impressive. And second ability is not even that bad. It's exactly like Radiant Greninja, but a little bit stronger where you discard two of its energies and he does 120 damage instead of the 90 damage he usually does. So you can one shot uh, be barrels and uh, basically two be barrels on the back end which is huge a be barrel or tatsugiri uh, you, you can win games very easily with this greninja ex moving on guys we got number three dragapult ex these, uh, these guys are becoming these are some of the strongest pokemon in the game right now guys this card is probably going to win the next tournament dragapult ex just such a s strong card 320 it has no resistance no weaknesses and also is a terra pokemon so you can't hurt it in the bench and not only that it its attacks are so cheap and so strong it's absolutely insane jet butt uh, jet headbutt of course you're not going to be using that all the time but it's so cheap it's actually effective the second ability is even stronger you're attacking the active pokemon and the bench at the same time it's no way this opponent can deal with this more than two turns it's gonna be after two turns of this so first of all the first attack you do to this, you kill his uh, Pokemon and you kill his Char Charmander in the back end. The next attack you do this, <laughs> you kill his, uh, you put some damage on his Bibarel and, and put some damage on the active. And the final time you do this, you take out the Bibarel, take out the active. It's absolutely huge. With one attack, you can kill two Pokemon very uh, consistently, I'm not gonna lie. Especially in this new meta with, uh, with the Body Puffin meta, it's such weak pokemon early on dragapult can be very effective it does take him some time to get out at stage two but so strong we have rare candy so you're gonna be able to pull this off very quickly guys interesting to see what ideas you guys have for this deck but let's move on guys we have a couple more cards like carmine is probably one of the best cards in the game right now it's one of the only supporters that can play turn one it's very effective with lugia allowing you to discard your whole hand then draw five another thing you could do with this is just keep her in your deck because you just play stuff early then you discard whatever you don't need and then draw to keep playing that same turn it's absolutely impressive I, it's, it's crazy that you can use a turn one and it's it's number it should be number one but only because it's lugia it's mostly centered around lugia that's why i don't, I don't want to put this in number one i want to put a card that can be used in any deck in number one but still very strong supporter one of the best supporters in the game right now and of course it's a femme girl so you guys uh, another one of your wifey girls for you guys finally guys i'm excited for this and i hope you all are absolutely impressive turnout for the set let's see the number one spot for this set 
is going to be Blood Moon or Saluna EX. He is the strongest card in this set, in my opinion. Does what Radiant Charizard wants to do, but just so much better. He does it for no energy. He's huge and he does a lot of damage, allowing you to end games consistently with Orsaluna EX. You don't have to play him down till the final turn. All you need is a nest ball. You pull him out and he does a 240 attack for free. It's absolutely insane. It's really consistently able to win games. You don't have to search for your energies or your Mirage Gates anymore. All you need is a nest ball. It's absolutely one of the best cards in the game, hands down. Guys, that's it for me. That's the whole top 10. Interested in your opinions. What do you think about the top 10? Leave a comment down below if I made any mistakes. And I'll see you next time. Peace, everybody.